Yeah. And, and so, um, so what's going wrong? I mean, at the end of the day, it seems like from my perspective, uh, civilizationally as a Western society, we're facing what amounts in my mind to an identity crisis. We, we seem to have no sense of who we are, what we're supposed to be. Um, and we live in this world of expressive individualism where people just, the highest good is to just be whatever you want to be. And the problem is, is if you can be whatever you want to be, well, then what should you be? <laughs> and is anything that you are better than anything else? And what is the highest good? And there's just this, you end up in this, in my mind, a sea of chaos where you don't have, at least as a culture and as a people, we've lost touch with kind of the notion of ideals themselves to where we used to sort of have within our society in the West, sort of a, you know, this is what a man is. This is what a woman is. This is what, this is how we're all, this is the game we're playing and here's the role we all have in the game and this is what we're all trying to accomplish. And I feel like that has just, as a general broad society that has happened and I see it happening to some extent within the church where people feel less certain about, you know, what we're all supposed to be doing and where everyone fits in, in the picture. So do you think that that is, um, I mean, how, how do we, first of all, is that the problem? And or is it, do you, do you see that same kind of thing happening? And is there some sort of a solution to it? Like, how do we, how do we start to fix this? Yeah, I think, um, I, I have a lot of thoughts about this, but I'll, let's just start with, I was talking to my wife, uh, Miranda about this as I was preparing for our conversation and just thinking through some, some questions. Um, and I, I like your analogy about like we we're all going to play a game, and here are the the roles that we play, and let's let's all do it, play the best game that we can. Um, mm -hmm. I came up with a similar analogy of what we where, where I think we're seeing today is I think a a growing and even dominant attitude now culturally is were you to show up to like a play rehearsal and you told the director actually i the role that i'm in i'm just gonna like improv everything like toss out the script that's not me that's i think i can do better than that or like this is too hard so i'm going to just make it my own mm -hmm. that i think it, it, it so then the play just turns into an improv show it yeah. stops being what it was originally um and I think the, the answer to that, just to extend the analogy, the, the metaphor is the way you honor your own individuality, your own uniqueness, because this, my, my uniqueness is typically what people like talk about when they are talking about rejecting ideals Yeah, that I am the ideal. And so yeah, you, you set what the, there's no external ideal to yeah. you. It is, this is what, this is my truth. This is what I want, which by the way, is a garbage, uh, anyway, I just like gag every time I hear the word my yeah. truth. But anyway, the, the idea is, is that, that there isn't this external thing that is the good that I need to conform to. The highest good is my own liberty to express whatever it is that I want. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think just to go back to this metaphor about a play, the way we honor both of those things is we keep the roles. Everyone has their role and their part. But if you have ever gone to a certain play or you, you love a certain musical or something, typically you'll have a favorite actor or actress, depending on the cast. If it's really successful, mm -hmm. there'll be different casts all around the world and across time. And you'll find that you like a particular person's performance of that part more than any other. Mm -hmm. And so it's the individuality is expressed in adopting that role. Mm -hmm. so, and in the way, so you're saying kind of in the way that you play the role, right? Because right. I mean, we all might be playing baseball, but we all know that me playing baseball and, you know, pitching and Nolan Ryan pitching, there's a whole different individuality here that says that I'm not Nolan Ryan or, you know, LeBron James in basketball or whatever. And not only that, playing the game, you can play it with a certain style. 
right? right. And, and I even think about when, like another analogy that I like to use is the idea of an orchestra. We all have a different mm -hmm. instrument, but mm -hmm. not everyone plays instruments the same. And you can, not everyone's the same instrument. And like I said, we're all playing the same song, but you can play different instruments. You can play the same song on it and you can even create different renditions of it according to it. But there still are parameters within that you still, like individuality exists, but within a framework, it doesn't exist totally unbounded. And if it does, it, in my mind, and you have obviously much more training in this, but psychologically, spiritually, whatever, it it is incredibly disorienting when you don't have a framework to fit into. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want more content, including the podcast, go to thoughtful-faith.com. Thanks for watching.